see Louis, Tom, and of course the champ and Eddie for taking this fight with Edgar. Keith Connolly done a great job to get this made. But this isn't just about winning the lottery. This is about claiming the ticket. And Edgar Belanga is here only to win. 16 first round knockouts in his first 16 fights, 22 and 0. This kid has amateur pedigree, this kid has ability. This kid has dynamite in his hands and this kid has a big set of cojones that will put everything on the line on September the 4th. Boxing pros have revealed their picks for the Canelo Alvarez versus Edgar Berlanga fight. Canelo is set to return to the boxing ring, defending his undisputed super middleweight titles against Banga on September 14th. This is our main event, September 14th. Canelo Alvarez and Edgar Berlanga meet for the WBA, WBC, and WBO Super Middleweight World Titles. This is our main event. On September 14th, Canelo Alvarez and Edward Berlanga meet for the WBA, WBC, and WBO Super Middleweight World Title. The bout is set just two days ahead of Mexican Independence Day, a strategic timing Canelo has often favored throughout his career. Canelo, with a record of 61-22 and 39 knockouts, recently secured a unanimous decision victory against Hain Mir in May. This triumph marked his fourth consecutive win since returning to the super middleweight division following his unsuccessful bid for the WBA light heavyweight title against Dimitri Bivol in May 2022. Berlanga, an undefeated rising star, boasts an impressive 22s a record with 17 of those victories coming by knockout. His latest triumph came in February when he secured a sixth round TKO against Padre MCC. Numerous fans had been eager to witness Canelo take on the up and coming sensation David Benovitz who recently boosted his record to 29-0 by overcoming Alexander Gazik to secure the WBC interim light heavyweight title. While Canelo has been hesitant about this bout due to Benz's imposing stature and youthful vigor, he has lately expressed a willingness to consider the challenge if the financial offer is compelling enough. We'll see why not. If the money is correct, why not? Alvarez said during an appearance on Espen's first take in May. Fans will have to wait till Alvarez defeats Berlanga in order to fantasize about seeing Benovitz once more. Fat Joe has consistently stood by Edgar Berlanga, his fellow Puerto Rican, as he has risen through the boxing ranks. Moreover, rap legend Jay-Z stood alongside Berlanga at the Palladium Times Square on Monday during the Canelo Alvarez Berlanga press conference in New York City. Joe then had some words to say to those who are undervaluing Berlanga's potential to pull off what would be seen as a major upset. Joe started telling Dozo News, I've been fighting this type of adversity my whole life. I know what he's going up against, so the hate that doesn't do nothing but fuel guys like us. We're cut from the same cloth. This man wanted the fight. I don't think you'll understand that this guy wanted the fight. It's not like, oh, you got to fight Alvarez, really? No, this guy wants the fight. Joe believes that Banger, despite his unbeaten record, has more than just a puncher's chance to surprise the world by defeating Alvarez and seizing the title of unified super middleweight world champion. Joe tacked on about Banga. He's got dynamite in his gloves. Never sleep on the boxer. I have never seen a fight that Edgar Berlanga has fought where he doesn't hit someone somewhere where they're like, whoa, they wake up. It's like when you walk outside and that cold hits you. This is a tale of two Davids set against the backdrop of a shifting landscape in the 168 to 175 pounds divisions. After years of challenging Canelo Alvarez, David Benovitz has shifted gears, now stepping into the light heavyweight ring. Meanwhile, the spotlight turns to Ozzy David Morel Gutierrez Jr. Better known as David Morel, the Cuban-born pugilist made his debut in the 175 pound division facing Ravo Kick for the vacant WBA title at the Taron Crawford Israel Madoff headliner. Much like his namesake, Moyle has long pursued a bout with Canelo Alvarez. With their destinies seemingly linked despite their efforts, neither has secured the coveted fight. David Moyle even reached out to David Benovitz, but his attempts were fruitless. Now, with Alvarez opting for a title defense against Edgar Berlanga, Moyle, the Santa Clara-born Southpaw, finds his WBA mandatory status to be a ludicrous notion. During fight week, the schedule kicked off with the grand arrivals, the initial pre-event spectacle on Tuesday. In a conversation with a cluster of journalists, David Morrill seemed visibly exasperated by the incessant inquiries about the upcoming September 14th bout featuring Canelo Alvarez and Edgar Berlanga. Man, this fight's everybody knows. I don't want any more questions about this fight. It's crazy, he said. 
The Cuban-American boxer grasps the reality that ultimately it's all about business. Nonetheless, he points out that Canelo Alvarez has sidestepped clashes with two Cubans, himself and potentially Yul Hernandez in the 168 pounds division. Furthermore, it's become widely recognized that Alvarez has ignored David Benz's challenges, suggesting how Canelo Alvarez has been going after less challenging opponents. David Moore felt Berlanga is easy for him, referring to last year's Gerald Charlo fight, where the Iron Man moved two divisions up to meet Alvarez at the super middleweight. He said, everybody's here. I'm not talking. Everything's here for me. This fights. Several reporters inquired about how he would rate the threat Berlanga could pose to Alvarez on a scale from 1 to 10. When the conversation shifted to assessing Berlanga's potential danger in a bout against David Ben Aids, Morrill, with a grin, gave a playful score of 16. Yet, putting humor aside, he acknowledged the Mexican monster as an exceptional fighter. In just five short years, David Morrill has established himself as a formidable force in the super middleweight division, long overshadowed by Canelo Alvarez. Marking his first anniversary in the sport, the Southpaw claimed the interim championship. By the next year, he had ascended to the role of regular champion. Since then, he has fiercely defended his title with his sixth defense against Senna Agco occurring last December. Meanwhile, Canelo Alvarez and his new challenger locked eyes for the first time at their title defense press conference in New York. The encounter between Alvarez and Edgar Banga was marked by a steely confrontation. However, the bout has stirred some discontent among fans who were hoping to see Alvarez square off against bigger names like David Benovitz or David Morrill. Instead, the fight against Belanga has left many wondering if the excitement factor is lacking. Eddie Hearn, who holds a multi-fight contract with the Chosen One, recently had a face-to-face -face with the reigning super middleweight champion. Initial reports suggest the encounter began with some tension as Canelo Alvarez sought clarifications from Hearn. Thankfully, the meeting ended on a more amicable note, with both parties sharing a friendly exchange. The interaction between Alvarez and Hearn has captured considerable attention, particularly as Alvarez prepares for his upcoming fight. This match follows his previous defense of the undisputed title against Hay Monja. As he gears up for the September 14th bout, Alvarez has been stripped of his EBF title, reducing his status to that of a unified champion. Michael Benson's tweet suggested that Eddie Hearn and Canelo Alvarez were talking about last week's Terence Crawford vs. Israel Madoff clash. Canelo Alvarez and Eddie Hearn discussing the promotion of Terence Crawford vs. Israel Madoff today, it read. As the short clip shows, both the champion and the promoter were standing. Perhaps the meeting was nearing its end. Looking at the Englishman, Canelo Alvarez said, You've been talking about me all in week. Perhaps the poser caught the matchroom boss off guard as one of matchroom boxing's standout fighters. Israel Madoff's prominence seemed to prompt Canelo Alvarez to suspect that Eddie Hearn was using his own star power to boost interest in the upcoming bout with Bud Crawford. Hearn, however, was quick to clarify that the event required significant promotional efforts, and who better to spotlight than Alvarez himself. The explanation resonated with Canelo, who responded with a knowing smile and a nod of agreement toward Hearn. It was as if he had already anticipated this strategy. I think that's exactly right, he remarked. As Eddie Hearn stepped back, he glanced over to make sure his family was all right. Alvarez reassured him that all was well at home. Catch you in a bit, Hearn said before heading out. Naturally, the interaction sparked a flood of responses from fans, many of whom had plenty to say about both parties involved. Where are you talking to all yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. Interestingly, Canelo Alvarez and Eddie Hearn were partners until the previous year when Alvarez signed a lucrative free fight, $100 million agreement with Al Heyman. The bout against Jao Charlo marked the beginning of this new venture. However, the collaboration with PBC was short lived, leading to a mutual decision to end their partnership. According to the latest updates, the September 14th event featuring the middleweight title clash between Eris Lalara and Danny Garcia, along with Caleb Plant's comeback bout, will be jointly promoted by Canelo Promotions and TGB Promotions. Eddie Hearn's matchroom boxing will also lend its support to the event. During the press conference, Berlanga was certain David Benz's name would come up, and Berlanga didn't hold back when the topic was raised. Berlanga expressed that he did not want to hear about Benavides, using explicit language to emphasize his disdain. He remarked that many people kept bringing up Benavides and others despite knowing that a fight with them was not going to happen.
Berlanga concluded by affirming that on September 14th, it would be Berlanga versus Canelo, representing Puerto Rico against Mexico. And I don't want to hear, listen man, I don't want to hear Benavidez, fuck Benavidez, you know, shout out to Crawford, you know what I'm saying, but they keep mentioning Crawford, he fought a 54 pounder, you know, it was a tough fight, you know, we got business to handle September 14th, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people just keep mentioning Benavidez and all these guys, man, like, y'all know it's not gonna happen, for me, and that's just that, man, like, September 14th, Belanga, Canelo, Puerto Rico versus Mexico. And I don't want to hear, listen man. I don't want to hear Benitez Pence, you know? Shout out to Crawford. You know what I'm saying? But they keep mentioning Crawford. He fought a 54 pounder. You know it was a tough fight. You know we got business to handle September 14th. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people just keep mentioning Ben Aids and all these guys, man. Like you know, it's not going to happen. You feel me? And that's just that man. Like September 14th, Belanga, Cana, Puerto Rico versus Mexico. Berlanga had more to say after the news conference for those who think Benitz ought to have challenged Alvarez rather than him. He said, those are haters, man, and all those people out there, they're going to still buy the pay-per-view. They're going to still going to talk. Floyd became Floyd. Why? Because he had so many people hating him, right or wrong, Banger continued. Floyd became Floyd because of the hate. If Floyd never had the hate, Floyd would never be who he was. You need that, and I'm used to that hate. I go on social media and see things, and that fuels me. Because the greatest victory is when it's won, and you could shut all the haters up. That's the best feeling. Edgar Berlanga Sr., Baranga's father and trainer concurs and rejects Benz's identity. He said, I don't care about that. We got the fight and we're going to beat Canelo. Eddie Hearn was on the opposite side of boxing's face on Monday. After having promoted Canelo Alvarez in several bouts, the matchroom boxing promoter is throwing their support behind Edgar Berlanga. Even though a faction of boxing enthusiasts and analysts is urging Alvarez to face David Bonovitz, Hearn is preparing to give Berlanga a serious opportunity next month. He told the media, I think Edgar is being overlooked and disrespected. He's here only to win. He had 16 first round knockouts in his first 16 fights. He's got dynamite in his hands and he'll put everything on the line September 14th. Edgar's been overlooked disrespected. He's the number one challenger with a WBA. He's the mandatory challenger. He's earned the right to this shot. And when we signed him 13 months ago, we promised him a shot at the great Canelo Alvarez. As things moved on, that shot looked as though it become more difficult. And as always, it's the lottery ticket of boxing to land the shot against Canelo Alvarez. I think Edgar's been overlooked, disrespected. He's the number one challenger with a WBA. He's the mandatory challenger. He's earned the right to this shot. And when we signed him 13 months ago, we promised him a shot at the great Canelo Alvarez. As things moved on, that shot looked as if it had become more difficult. And as always, it's the lottery ticket of boxing to land the shot against Canelo Alvarez. Having said that, Han took the time to criticize those who believe the boxing veteran is sidestepping Benovitz. After spending time with Alvarez, Hoon mentioned that Canelo is willing to fight anyone and has no fear of any opponent. However, he noted that Canelo would have a specific figure in mind for the deal, and if that figure could not be met, Canelo would proceed with his mandatory fights until an agreement could be reached. Hearn believes the alvarez Benovitz fight could eventually happen. He noted that as the fight gains attention and demand increases, so does the potential revenue. Hearn stated that Canelo Alvarez is willing to take on any fight if the financial offer is sufficient, but he also mentioned that Canelo has a specific price in mind and it remains to be seen if that price can be met. I know that Canelo Alvarez wants real fights, guys that will come to him to win. This guy won't dance around the ring. He won't try and survive the 12 rounds. He will come for a firefight with Canelo Alvarez. And yes, it is Puerto Rico against Mexico, but it's deeper than that. This is an opportunity of a lifetime for Edgar and he- I know that Canelo Alvarez wants real fights, guys that will come to him to win. This guy won't dance around the ring. He won't try and survive to 12 rounds. He will come for a firefight with Canelo Alvarez. And yet, yes, it is Puerto Rico against Mexico, but it's deeper than that. This is an opportunity of a lifetime for Edgar and his father. Meanwhile, Edger Banga is destroying any criticism he's getting over his prospects of defeating Canelo Alvarez. That includes criticism he's received from Caleb Plant, who recently told co Arta Sports that Berlanga has got to be able to use boxing skills he doesn't have have a chin that he doesn't have, and the experience that he doesn't have to defeat Alvarez. 
Berlanga addressed those comments directly while recently appearing on The Breakfast Club. Berlanga said of Plant, he's a hater, period. I feel like now he's clout chasing. He's doing a lot of weird things just to be relevant again. A lot of people know dude don't sell. He doesn't sell unless he's fighting a big fighter. He further added, so I'm like, you're a hater, bro, because when it was your time to shine, when it was your time to step into that ring with Canelo and all these guys, I never bashed you. I never said nothing about you. I let you have your moment, but you ain't take your opportunity. You lost, you got knocked out. Banger is alluding to the latter, specifically to PL stoppage in the 11th round in their November 2021 matchup with Alvarez. In an attempt to overthrow the undisputed super middleweight monarch and surprise everyone in the process, the unbeaten Berlanga intends to achieve quite different outcomes. Critics argue that Canelo's choice of opponent seems strategic, with many experts and fans suspecting he's avoiding a bout with David Benitz. Canelo had a roster of challengers lined up for his super middleweight titles, including Edgar Berlanga, David Benovitz, and William Skull. The decision to exclude Skull led the International Boxing Federation to strip Canelo of his championship belt. Berlanga is set to get his first crack at a world championship in eight years, yet some doubt whether he can take on Saul Alvarez. The last fighter to face Canelo was Caleb Plant, who battled him in 2021 and has some insight into what the Chosen One will encounter in the ring. Barra's numbers should be enough to give him the benefit of the doubt, being undefeated in his 22 fights with 17 knockouts. However, for Plant, he has no arguments and destroyed him with a blunt comment. To sum up, Caleb doubts the Chosen One's readiness to take on Canelo, citing a lack of experience and concerns about his resilience against punches. He believes these factors could lead to a knockout. This view aligns with a similar opinion he shared in a previous interview. He lacks the skills. I think he lacks the chin. He lacks the boxing ability and the IQ, Plant said about Edgar Barra's boxing whom he would not rule out as a possible opponent in the future. Before their September 14th match, Berlanga couldn't help but whisper a warning in Alvarez's ear at the conclusion of the conference. Berlanga started telling a pool of reporters, we're trying to become a legend. I got to beat that man across from me. He told me it's going to be something different, but I told him it's going to be something different. The 27-year-old Berlanga started his career with 16 first round knockouts, which helped him rise in the boxing ranks. In recent times, five out of his last six wins have been secured by unanimous decision. However, he also delivered a dramatic sixth-round TKO against Patrick Key in February, earning him the mandatory challenger spot for Alvarez's unified super middleweight world title. Eddie Hearn, the matchroom boxing promoter known for his past work with Alvarez and his current supporter Berlanga, has confidently declared that the Brooklyn fighter will engage head-on with the champion, exchanging blows up close. I know Canelo wants real fights and guys who will come at him to win. Edgar will come for a firefight, Hearn promised to the media. Berlanga added, It's will versus will. It's who can break whose will. It's lion versus lion. And you know I'm Puerto Rican. I'm young, I'm strong, and there's going to be fireworks on September 14th. I'm not running. We're not going anywhere. We're going to stay right there, and we're going to do what we do. The idea of a firefight was music to Alvarez's ears. I love it. The boxing icon said with a grin. He added, I really love it. I don't expect anything else. I know he's going to come to bring everything, and me too. That's the fight. I really like it, I love it, and I'm going to enjoy it a lot. Yeah, Canelo prefers to keep discussions about future plans off limits when a fight is on the horizon. He made it clear that this principle stands firm, even when challenged by boxing's latest influential figure, Turkey Alec. Alvarez revealed that Alal Sheikh reached out to him on Monday regarding a potential fight in February in Saudi Arabia against Terence Crawford, the newly crowned junior middleweight and four-division champion who boasts a record of 41-0 with 31 knockouts. They called me yesterday, Alvarez revealed to PV.com during a Tuesday interview ahead of his press conference with Edgar Berlanga, his September 14th super middleweight challenger at the Beverly Hills Hotel. He added, they wanted to meet with me and see about the fight with Crawford in February. I said, look, I'm not interested in talking about another fight. After September 14th, we can talk, but not right now. Alal Sheikh then announced on X late Monday night that, just wrapped up an important meeting now with my team planning for the upcoming fights that we will make for 2024 to 2025. I decided to disregard the Canelo fight as I don't want it anymore. Instead, I will be focusing for the S market with bigger fights, especially for the legend Crawford.
Alvarez, the reigning four division and unified super middleweight champion, with a record of February 261 and 39 casts, shared his thoughts with occasional promoter Eddie Hearn during the opening stop of his and Berlanga's press tour in New York. Canelo said, Eddie Hearn asked me, hey, we want to talk about the Crawford fight in February. Turkey Alec wants to meet you in person in Ley. I said, look, I don't want to talk about the fight. Obviously, not many individuals put a low shick on hold. Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.